Hi, I am Alejandra Perez. Uh, I'm going to show you work in progress of a performance I'm preparing. Uh, it's called YEAST. Um, I, I am doing my research in the University of Westminster. Uh, my topic of research is actually mm -hmm. Antarctica. And this is something I'm developing in order to approach the problem of the unknown. Um, so, okay. so yeast is an audiovisual audio bio noise performance of yeast reactions and algorithmic systems. Um, basically, what I'm doing is to work with the uh, live cultures of yeast and yogurt and to trigger uh, in yeast reactions with sugar. Um, in this way, uh, I want to use yeast as a sensor. And the idea comes from actually literature. I am uh, basing my ideas on the algebra of need of William Burroughs when he speaks of the cycles of withdrawal and wanting drug. This is described in The Naked Lunch and also in books like Junkie. So I imagine the yeast, when you put the sugar in it, as a live uh, system that wants the sugar and transforms itself. I am also uh, bringing some notions of the phenomenology of knowledge of Tim Ingold, in where uh, he relates knowledge, the ability to know, with movement. So I relate the ability to sense as the ability to know. And also, I relate uh, the fermentation process. Uh, sorry. Uh, I relate the fermentation process in the yeast as a sort of perception. So the yeast culture starts to move when it um, gets the sugar, and it forms a bubble, like here. And this bubble, I consider it a form of memory. Because um, in the process of, of being a bubble, in the process of becoming a bubble, uh, the yeast is actually apprehending the environment and keeping it as an um, encapsulated gas. So what I have in a fermentation reaction is actually a system of memories. And this is why I, I think I can use a yeast sensor, a, a yeast, sorry, as a sensor. And to have an approach uh, to sense the environment that would be thinking of the process of sensing the environment as a unitary process, very much as my own body senses the environment without a difference, without a border between uh, the subject and the object. Um, so in order to make music, I have tried different methods to interface the yeast. The method one is um, the conversion of the image pattern into raw data. And then I, okay, I do image magic for the raw data. Then I have a spectrogram of the sound. And then I have a rhythmic pattern. The second method is interfacing the yeast with piezo microphones. And I have done this, uh, but then I, I like the results, but I have a lot of feedback, so it's mainly <coughs> a feedback system. And lately, I have tried a different method, uh, which is to interface the yeast with a theremin sensor. So I use the antenna of the theremin sensor inside the yeast culture, and when I trigger the fermentation process, I hear these changes that, yeah, to me, they sound like bubbles, but uh, it's actually changes in conductance. Um, so this is the patch I use. This is the kind of reaction I get when I trigger the fermentation. Um, maybe I will uh, make you listen the kind of sound I'm getting from these experiments. Um, <coughs> do I have sound? Yes. 
This is a demo I made with different tests. background of this investigation. Um, so I started, uh, so my PhD research is on Antarctica and ways to sense uh, something that we cannot know because we cannot access because of our limitations of our perceptual system. So first I started to use a uh, just sensors like ultraviolet sensor, temperature, sen temperature sensor, uh, light, um, sound. But I thought this is just fragmenting the space that I'm trying to perceive or to sense as a unitary phenomenon. Uh, so I started to do more like body experiments to use my body as a sensor. So. And so I did, um, I did some tests. I throw myself down the hill to feel the pain and to transcend the borders of my own skin. Um, this idea of transcending the borders led me to the idea of using a biological system to sense. And this is why I started to use the yeast. And, um, This is work in progress. This is what I'm doing at the moment. So I don't have a definite uh, results. I don't mean to give a rational explanation either. I think this response to the need of a, an economy of the hallucinatory, where we can go beyond uh, these distinctions between sensor and environment, uh, self and other, objective, subjective. This is actually thinking that everything is phenomenal, so there is no clear border. I think this is my presentation, so I'm open for questions now. I was wondering about the potential of the yeast as a performance system. So in what ways can humans interact with it? Can you add substances to, to speed up growth or inhibit growth? Or? Well, the, the factor to um, speed up growth is sugar, actually. But um, especially with the termin, uh, the system is not really closed. So if I approach the 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 sensor setup, it will be sensing me as well. So I can interact just as, a, as with the theremin, with the yeast. Um, yes, is this answering your question? Yes. When you, when you talk about uh, going beyond subject, <coughs> yes. uh, you probably mean phenomenology. Like yes. 
programs you aspire to have like uh, my love mom team yes and these people uh, why would you how do you feel how do you justify in your process to uh, go beyond subjectivity and objectivity the use of, of a computer and a PD patch which is objective in that sense you try to model reality according to objective in that sense you're going backwards yes in, in a certain sense in, at least in my view so if you have instead a continue like for example the theremin into the fermentation process in that case you are creating a chain of events but generally computer works by abstraction and needs to be the, the, the mechanical process is objective in that sense so how do you well, there, I think there will always be some kind of objectivity, but more as a contingency. So it's specific to this experimental setup and that moment of performance. I don't think I can be go. I, do, I don't want to go beyond that actually. And the computer is, I think, uh, <coughs> another agent in the chain. So the computer is also altering the performative situation. Um, I don't mind to use a computer because I'm actually mixing different natures and different modes of knowing. So it's more than that, it's more the, the mixture I am interested. So the mode of knowing of the digital uh, technology, my own mode of knowing, the mode of knowing of the yeast, which is post-human, but it's, and this whole uh, apparatus, it's actually another being. So with no distinctions, and we are all participants. We have a agency in common. It's a big question what you're asking, though. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you.